In these problems, we're doing some pretty tricky things with the formula for circumference. And instead of finding the circumference, in these problems we might be either given their circumference and have to find the radius, or we might be asked to do what this first problem asks, which is to find the circumference but in terms of pi. So let me explain that. You know that our, our formula for circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Now here we know that the uh, radius is 17, so we could plug that in. I'm just going to leave the pi there right now. So 2 times pi times 17. Now if we were going to figure this out to, and get a, a decimal number, we would plug in some value for pi there, maybe 3.14, and multiply that by 2 and by 17. When they say in terms of pi, you'd leave the pi there. It's actually one fewer steps. So what we would do is take the 2 times the 17, which is 34, and you'd have a circumference equaling 34 times pi, or we could just say 34 pi. So the circumference of this circle, in terms of pi, is 34 pi. Let's look at one more. This one says, what is the missing measure in the circle? Use 3.14 for pi, and the radius equals blank. So it's the radius that's the missing measure. That's what we're looking for. And then they tell us the circumference is 91, sorry, 98.1 inches. Well, we're going to use our same old formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r. And we plug in the numbers that we have. 98.1 goes in for circumference. Our 2 stays there. Our pi, we're going to use 3.14 because that's what the problem tells us to use. And the r is missing. So that's what we're looking for. Let me just do this multiplication 2 times 3.14. Let's see, that's going to be 6.28 times r equals 98.1. Now what we want to do is solve for r, solve for that variable. And when we solve for a variable using algebra, what we'll do is divide by whatever is multiplied by it. 6.28 is multiplied by the r, so we're going to divide that and it will disappear over here. But the rules of algebra say you have to do the same thing to the other side that you do to this side. So I'm going to divide this side by 6.28 as well. When we divide over here, these two cancel out, leaving just r by itself, which is what we want. And our answer is going to be over here, but I think I'm going to do this on my calculator. We have 98.1 divided by 6.28 and I get a radius of 15.6 approximately. And it said the circumference was in inches, so we're going to use the same units here for the radius. When we do a, a problem to figure the circumference and you have the radius, you're just multiplying 2 times pi times r. In this situation, when you have the circumference and you're trying to find the radius, you take that circumference and you divide it by the 2 pi part. And that's always, if you use 3.14, going to be 6.28. So if you come across a problem like this, they give you the circumference and they want the radius, it's really just the circumference divided by 6.28. Let's try one more. This one says, if the circumference of a circle is 56 pi centimeters, what is the radius? So we would have 56 pi centimeters for our circumference. And I'm just using this formula, circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. So there's our circumference, 56 pi centimeters, equals 2 times pi times the radius. Now in this case, I, I could try to divide by 6.28, but I've got pi's on both sides. So it's a lot easier if I just divide by 2 pi as it is, rather than 6.28. They're pretty much the same thing if you substitute in 3.14 for pi. But I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'll show you how this works. Now on this side, 2 pi divided by 2 pi, that cancels out, leaves the r alone, which is what we want to solve for. On this side, well, the pi's cancel, so those disappear. And then it's 56 divided by 2, well that's not too hard, that's um, 28 centimeters. So the radius equals 28 centimeters. So those are some problems using the formula for circumference and solving for the radius or expressing the circumference in terms of pi.